G'day, you're right and lot. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we are going through the delays in the Sonic Cake Matrix Box 2. Now there is a discount code from Sonic Cake in the description of the video. If you uh, want a bit of a discount on a, any Sonic Cake product, plus we get a bit of a kickback from that, which is pretty awesome. Sonic Cake have sent this to us to uh, muck around with, and I am glad they did because this thing sounds amazing. This is where I'm at. <laughs> Just a amp, a cab, um, a little bit of drive on the front end, and some reverb. Now this is a delay block here, I'm just going to turn it on. The first one is called Warm. Now, just to let you know, pretty much all of these have uh, the sync function. So if you're setting a tempo for your preset overall, uh, you can sync it to the, the uh, repeats to be in sync with the tempo of the preset. Uh, then the other thing you can have is trails, which is awesome. So when you turn it off, the last lot of tails just keeps going, or, or trails, whatever you want to call them. I call them tails. Lots of people call them trails. Some people call it spillover as well. That is warm. Now, warm was um, producing a warm delay sound with an analog feel. The next one, pure, is your del uh, digital delay. So it's just an exact copy of whatever you put into it. Beautiful, the next one, mag, is simulates a solid state tape echo sound. Little bit of modulation on there as well. I can already tell I'm just going to be playing an A chord a lot and then stopping so you can hear the repeats today. <laughs> All right, the next one is Tube. Um, where am I? Tube simulates tube-driven tape echo sound. It is pretty different. The uh, solid state echo, tape echo, and the tube tape echo, tape echo do sound different. BBD, this is an old analog delay. I'm not sure what the uh, R percentage does there, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ping pong. Slap back. Nice slap back. Sweep. Producing a warm, natural, analog delay sound. Mm -hmm. 
This one, you can actually sync the tempo and of the repeats and of the sweep at the same time, so that's pretty cool. Let's turn those on, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's that is actually pretty cool. Turn it right up and have a good listen here. Very cool. The ring is, where am I? Oh, sweep produces at, the sweep, sorry, was producing a delay effect with sweeping filter modulated repeats. Okay, ring is producing a delay effect with a ring, with ring modulated repeats. This will be interesting. That's really interesting. It's not really something you see in delay pedals anywhere is having ring modulation on the repeats. That's actually really cool. It's like the ultimate lo-fi delay, isn't it? Not 100% sure where I'd use that, but... It is a very cool effect. All right, multi-tape. Multi-tap, sorry. Oh, yeah, multi-tape. A multi-tape delay that simulates a huge four-headed tape echo machine. All right, let's send the feedback in the mix up a little bit here. It's got a couple of different modes in it. Now, on my actual Space Echo, I use mode number seven. Yeah, it's awesome. You can hear all the different uh, sounds of the different heads. And then a little bit of modulation on the tails as well. Very cool. Sweet. Where am I? Sweet is uh, producing warm natural analog delay sound. Very nice. Very nice. You can hear how it loses all its bottom end and all its top end. And sort of loses some of its fidelity as well. So they sound like a little bit distorted, which is really cool. Very, very nice. The next one is the 999 Echo based on the Maxon AD999 analog delay. Yeah, I'd be totally happy to use that at a gig. The rack. Modeled on some 1980s rack uh, rack delay gear. I'll turn the modulation up. Turn the turn up a bit.
Yeah, that one sounds amazing. Right, moving on to the lo-fi one. This is the second last one. Producing a delay effect with lo-fi repeats. Oh my god, I just looked into the controls. This has a bit crusher. This is awesome. <laughs> this is great. So you can get it from pretty much analog sort of sounding delay to just completely destroyed. Let's wind these all the way out and see how we go. <laughs> That's awesome. That is a very, very cool effect. The last one is reverse. So this is how I would use a, my reverse feedback. I would turn the mix all the way up because you don't want to hear any of your dry signal. You just, I just want to hear my reverse delayed signal. So it sounds like I'm playing backwards. I'm going to turn the time there sort of almost up to two seconds. The feedback just to like minus two. So if you go forward, you get normal forward delay. If you go backwards, you get normal backwards delay. If you have it on zero, you get absolutely nothing. So it's going to have it on minus one there. I think I should just give me one repeat. And that is how I would use a re my reverse delay. <laughs> Whoops, it just gave me a little extra noise there. Um, I'll have to work out how to use the controls properly, but I'm pretty sure that's how you use it. And there's one little extra sound at the end. So yeah, anyway, there you go. There is all the delays. There is a huge amount of delays there. They all sound great. There's lots of old vintage stuff, a few modulated things, a few tape things, tube things. A few of some really odd special effects like the ring modulator and the filter. That's crazy. I've never played a ring modulator, um, a delay with ring modulation on, on the repeats before. That was actually really cool. And the one with the uh, bit crushing on it as well was super sweet, the lo-fi one. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you got this far, please give, us, please give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. It's absolutely free to you and it helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget there's a discount code for Sonic Cake down in the description of the video. So uh, get in there, save some money. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.